Hello, boys and girls. This is Miss Tasha again. Um, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome um, to this week's uh, Bible study lesson. Uh, we are going to continue with our focus, which is going to be on kindness. And what does God tell us, his children, about kindness? So as you can see here, I just kind of Googled some pictures of some individuals that are showing kindness. So we have... Um, this man here who's in the military who is visiting children in the hospital. Um, of course, here we have um, these two young men here um, that are showing kindness um, by sharing um, their music or, or video with one another. Um, we have uh, these two young men down here who, uh, well, one, as you can see, one is on crutches. And um, then you have the other young man that is helping him. And then, of course, we see the children that are, that are helping mom um, uh, in the kitchen. And those are some of the things that we discussed on last time. All right. So before we move forward in our lesson, we're going to go ahead and open up with a word of prayer. Father God, I want to thank you again, Father, um, for giving us this opportunity um, to be able to learn more about you. Uh, my prayer, Father God, um, as always, is that you will uh, touch the mind of the young people that are under the sound of my voice. Uh, my prayer, as always, Father, is that you will um, give me the right words. Um, um, speak through me, Father, um, so that um, they are able to understand what it is that your word says about their young lives. Father God, I want to lift all of us up um, uh, that you may help us in the area of patience, which is one of the things that we discussed on Sunday, um, that that is an area in our life that we are um, struggling with, Father God. And so we just pray, pray for your, um, your help, Father God. Um, Father God, we pray that you will just give us the strength, um, help us to remember what your word says. Um, help us to be patient, Father God. Um, give us those opportunities, Father God, so that we can um, show you, Father God, that it is something that we can do and that our goal is always to please you. Um, so I thank you um, for this lesson on this evening, Father God. I pray that the children will understand it and that they will be able to show kindness um, in their day-to-day -day lives, Father God, and that you will get the glory for everything that we do and everything that we say is in your perfect son, Jesus name we pray, amen. All right, my babies. All right, so now um, I want us to kind of go over or to review our lesson um, that we did on Sunday. Um, so I just want to go back and share that with you. Just to remind you, um, I know it's not um, time for it yet, but um, let me see. Yeah, that is not time for it yet, but I just want to review with you so that you can remember what it is that we're going to discuss, okay, um, or what your assignment was. So your assignment was to think of one area in your life in which you can improve in being kind, um, and I know one of us, I mean, a lot of us said that patience was was one of our, our, our areas, uh, and then we were going to do one random act of kindness. OK, and then I want you to jot that down, write it down and then to be able to to share that with us. And so we will discuss that on Sunday. So that's just a reminder of what your assignment is. All right. All right. So we will check that on Sunday. All right. So now we are going to go um, to the word of God. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the Bible. And if you have your Bible with you, please um, follow along with me as I let you know the, um, the books and the chapters and the verses that we are going to um, look at on this evening. All right. So some um, before we move forward, some of the examples I know that you all gave uh, me on Sunday about being kind is helping others, um, inviting friends to play. Just want to check with you to see where you are and how you're doing with your kindness. Um, showing your kindness, using kind words like please and thank you, yes ma'am, no ma'am, yes sir, no sir, um, opening doors. I know because my, my class on Sunday was all, all young men and I appreciate that. And so the, the young men um, talked about uh, opening doors for their moms or for their sisters, if they have a sister, uh, opening the doors. So I just want to check with y'all and see how y'all doing in, um, in that area. Okay, so we're going to first look at Ephesians. So we're going to go to Ephesians chapter 4. 
and verse 32. So I'm going to move this over so I can scroll down to verse 32. All right, here we go. So let's see what the word of God tells us. Verse 32. And it reads, be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. Okay. And I believe that's one of the ones that we um, discussed on Sunday. Um, it's just having compassion for one another, looking out for one another. Forgiving is a big thing as well, boys and girls. We want to make sure that we're forgiving one another, that we're not holding on grudges or staying mad with one another, uh, but that we're forgiving one another, talking it out, and then moving on. Because as we all know, um, Christ forgives us. When we pray as we should pray and ask uh, God for forgiveness, and that he forgives us. And so we want to do the same thing with other people. All right. So now let's turn to Galatians. Galatians. We are going to chapter three. And we are going to look at verse 28. So let me scroll down to verse 28. Okay. Verse 28, and it reads, there is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And this is something that we discussed on last Sunday. Also, when we looked in the book, when we talked about um, celebrating one another's differences, um, as we know, we are not all the same. God has not created us all the same. Um, as Josiah mentioned, we have uh, individuals that have disabilities. Um, we have, um, and then I think it was Xavier that mentioned that we have um, people that look different from us. And so what we, what God wants us to understand is that as his children, uh, in his eyesight, we are all one. No ma uh, matter if we have a disability or if we, our skin is different, we are all one. Whether we are a girl or whether we are a boy, um, we are all we are all uh, the same in God's eyes. And so when we talk about kindness, um, it does not matter whether a person looks like us or not, whether a person can do the same thing or not that we can do. God wants us to treat everyone the same. All right. So now we're going to stay in Galat Galatians and we're going to go to chapter five. I think I was already there. Let me just see how this is going to work for us. So we're going to stay in Galatians, and we're going to go to chapter 5, and we're going to look at verse 22. Let's see what verse 22. Okay, so verse 22 talks about the fruits of the Spirit, and I know you all um, have heard about the fruits of the Spirit before, but it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, okay? And then, of course, we have gentleness and self-control. Um, so kindness is a fruit of the Spirit. Kindness is something that um, we have in us because God lives in us. And so because of that, we are able, um, we have the ability to show kindness to one another. All right, boys and girls. All right. And so our last verse that we're going to look at for this evening is going to be in Ephesians. So let's turn to Ephesians, and we are going to chapter 2, and we are going to look at verses 8 through 10. I think I passed it up. There we go. All right. So it reads, for it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. For we are God's handiwork, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So here, what God is saying to us is that whatever it is that we do, um, even in showing our acts of kindness, kindness, it is not us that is doing it. It is Christ Jesus that lives in us. So we should not brag and boast about how the good thing that I, I did. Um, but it is God who has given me the ability, uh, God who has given me the, the wisdom, God who has given me the know-how 
um, to be able to do those, those acts of kindness. Um, and so that is what God wants us to uh, learn from this chapter and this verse. All right, boys and girls. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen. All right, so with all that information, all that knowledge, and all that wisdom that God has given us, uh, it helps us to uh, know that we have been equipped um, and that we have the ability to be kind to one another. So I want you to continue working on those act, uh, random acts of kindness, whether at home or whether at school or whether you're you know, at the Walmart grocery store, wherever it is that you go. I want you to continue to show the kindness that God has given you, all right? So I'm going to leave you with one last thing. And I'm not for sure how many of you are uh, familiar with Kid President, um, but I know in the classroom, I used to use Kid President all the time. He's just a cool guy. And so he's going to talk to us about making the world a better place. Because in showing um, kindness, we are making the world a better place. And whether you realize it or not, kindness is contagious. So when we're kind to someone else, our prayer and our hope is that they can in turn be kind to someone as well. All right. So here we go with Kid President. Very good. All right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that video and hope that you learned something from it. All right, so just a reminder that we will go over our um, assignment on Sunday when I see you all. So enjoy the rest of your week. Uh, please continue to be safe and please continue to practice being kind. Love you all.